And today we're taking a look at the KitchenAid Blade Coffee Grinder. And at the same time, we're gonna make coffee. And this is a one touch control blade coffee grinder that you can easily get under $30. If you're interested in this particular one, I'm gonna leave a link on the description. And this grinder has a bean capacity up to 12 cups and a minimum capacity of four cups. It has a clear black and stainless steel look that goes well in any kitchen. The coffee bean container and the blade are made of stainless steel, which is great to prevent rust. If you wanna have a great cup of coffee and wanna get all the flavors, as well as controlling the grind, that would help you get a real dark coffee, a medium or a light, is to grind your own fresh coffee beans. And the great thing about it is that with time, you'll get the perfect consistency and amount for your taste. So each cup you make, you're gonna assure you're gonna have a great coffee. And there's three ways you can get that either a blade grinder like this one, a burr grinder, or a disc and conical grinder. And your blade grinder is gonna be your cheapest, but it's still gonna give you a great grind. And it's great if you don't wanna go manual. And then having to cancel that membership at the gym because you're getting coffee gains. And you can also get great coffee from a manual grinder, but just like bodybuilding, you gotta put in the work. And that's why this motor packs a 160 watt punch and the bowl is dishwasher safe as well as the top plastic cover. What you can not put on the dishwasher is the bottom part because it has the motor. On the cover, there are two pins on the sides that need to go in the motor base to make it turn on. Just like a food processor, until it's not fully closed, it would not turn on. And that's great if you wanna keep your fingers because for this machine, you do need your fingers to grind the coffee. And what the motor does, it spins so it could spin the blades on the bowl. It has a dual lock mechanism on the side to prevent the bowl from slipping. And as you can see, there are measurement sizes on the bowl to know the correct amount, to have a guide for pouring your coffee beans. As you can see, that's the blade that's gonna ground your coffee. So it's not actually gonna grind it, but like a ninja hitting a piece of wood, it's either gonna break it, crack it, or cut it until you let go of the button and get to your desired consistency. Let's go ahead and put some coffee and try out this bad boy. And today, we're gonna try out some Colombian beans. And we're gonna grind it to the fine consistency. And this is how we usually take it. We hold the button for one or two minutes, and we get a fine, powdery consistency. The finer the consistency, the darker and more flavorful the coffee. And according to your taste, is the type of coffee beans that you'll use or according to your location that you can get your hands on. Usually the two major ones are coffee Arabica beans or coffee Robusta, which are the most common ones. Then you have the rarest ones like coffee Liberica or coffee Excelsa. And probably we butchered those names, but that's what we do in the starter box team. As you can see, the only drawback of this machine being the blade elevated, you get coffee on the bottom. And with each spin, it packs down on the bottom. We've been testing this bad boy for about two months and never had a bean get stuck under there or not grind. What we usually notice is that the finer cut coffee goes to the bottom. And then when taking it out, you have to give it an extra hit to get it out. Now, depending on how long you press the button is how fine you're gonna get the coffee bean grind. The finest, we usually go for a maximum of two minutes. For medium coffee, about one minute. And for coarser coffee, a couple of pulses or anything under a minute. Overall, this is a great machine. It's very quiet compared to other grinders. And in our testing for about two months, we haven't had any issues or non-grounded coffee beans. 
don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's the link to our latest video.